couldn't use a little more support in their life. Hey everyone, it's Sideshow, and today we're talking support. Have you ever noticed that your team keeps falling and can't get back up? That's because nobody can win in Overwatch without their support. Playing the support role is the backbone of Overwatch, and what truly makes it a one-of-a-kind experience. Of all the roles, the support heroes have the widest range of abilities and skill sets, and they do what they do with mad style. You can drop the beat as a Brazilian DJ, find your inner balance as a robot monk, and raise the dead as an angelic Swiss doctor. It doesn't matter how many swords, shields, or rocket launchers you bring to an Overwatch fight. If the supports aren't rallying their team, they're going nowhere. Which is why we're here to help you know your role. As a support player, you're the point guard for the team. Tempo and flow is the name of the game. You dictate when your team pushes the pace and when they fall back. Supports have abilities that help control engagements, such as sustaining your team, debuffing the enemy team, or helping your team speed around the map. Being a support player takes a big brain. You need to keep track of your team's ults, health, and positioning while doing the same for the enemy team. A lot of in-game leaders in the Overwatch League are support players who use their shot calling and intelligence to lead their teams to the promised land. Or checkpoint, or the payload. You know what I mean. When you choose the two supports for your team comp, you want them to have kits that complement each other. In the Overwatch League, there are two positions, main support and flex support. Main supports are known for having abilities that buff your team's abilities, such as damage boost and resurrect from Mercy, or the speed boost from Lucio. Flex supports, on the other hand, have abilities that debuff the enemy team. For example, Zenyatta's Discord Orb increases the amount of damage an enemy takes, and Ana's Biotic Grenade can prevent heroes from being healed. Some heroes can be played in either the main or flex spot, so try out different combos with your fellow support, and see what's working with your team. Now, when playing support, you are Atlas, the Titan holding your team together by keeping them alive, and using your unique abilities to set up monster plays. Supports can't frag out as much as other heroes, so you've got to rely on your creativity and savvy to make opportunities for your team to win a fight. You could whip people out of their positions, introduce them to the Sandman, or even help your team cheat death. Each support hero is totally unique, but there are some general tips that all support players should keep in mind. First off, you are not just a healing bot. Only healing your team isn't enough. Sometimes you can't outheal the damage coming in. Have a plan and look for opportunities to be offensive with your hero's kit. Tell your team to be aggressive after you land that disgusting bionade. Or get stylish as Lucio and boot them into the Shadow Realm. Being supportive doesn't mean that you can't be aggressive. Believe me, nothing is more terrifying than a Valkyrie flying into battle. You should always try to get the most value out of your abilities, and do your best to use them only when needed. Communicate with your team and let them know if you want to make a play. Fights are won or lost depending on if you have an ability when you need it, so ask yourself, are we in immediate danger? Can a teammate make a play off of my ability? Can I heal a teammate without using this ability? Are there health packs nearby? Your team is supposed to help keep you alive, it's true, but it's also part of your job to survive on the battlefield. And yes, I'm looking at you, the Moira who dies while hunting the enemy backline. Good lord, what a feed. You need to take care of yourself by using your abilities and wits to stay alive. The enemy should have to work hard to eliminate you. Nothing is more annoying than a support who just won't die. Be in a position that's hard to punish and know what tools you can use to escape. If you have mobility, like Mercy's Guardian Angel or Batiste's Exo Boots, use the high ground and don't stop moving. If you're immobile, like a Zen or an Ana, make sure you play near cover, move unpredictably, and have an ability ready to save yourself. Speaking of saving, don't forget to help out your fellow support. The enemy team is going to be gunning for your buddy as well, so stay alert and anticipate if your fellow support is about to get jumped. Teamwork makes the dream work, so pocket them and leave no support behind. Lastly, 
you have to know how to use your support ultimate. As a support player, your ult can be the clutch play that saves your team from annihilation. But, but only if you know when. Ultimates are all about getting maximum value, so you need to anticipate when would be the best time to pop. The most common time to pop your ult is to counter an enemy's ultimate. Keep track of what kind of ultimates the enemy team has and if they've used them in a while. Decide which enemy ultimate you want to deny and get ready to drop the beat. You can also use your ult aggressively, popping it early to start a fight with a huge advantage, putting the enemy team on the back foot. If you smell blood early and can get a big pick by plugging into the matrix or experiencing tranquility, power up and get in there. While not as flashy as some other roles, playing support lets you flex that 9000 IQ brain. If you enjoy being the heartbeat of your team and keeping up your team's spirits, then this role is for you. If you're about that support life, rally up the squad, show no mercy, and make your enemies surrender to your will. Good luck out there, and don't forget to call a chiropractor, because you are going to be sore from carrying that team on your back.